Welcome back to Mr. Underscore Bio. Today, we're taking a journey inside a leaf. Yes, this little green powerhouse does a lot more than just make plants look good. It's a factory, a transport system, and a solar panel all in one. So let's dive in and explore what's really inside a leaf. At first glance, a leaf might look simple, but it's actually packed with specialized cells and layers, each with a unique job. Let's start from the top and work our way down. First up, we have the cuticle, a thin, waxy layer covering the upper epidermis or the surface of the leaf. It is made of a substance called cutin. The cuticle acts as a waterproof barrier reducing water loss from the leaf's surface. Think of it like the leaf's raincoat. It helps keep water inside and protects the leaf from pests and harsh weather. Just beneath the cuticle is the upper epidermis. It is the single layer of cells covering the top surface of the leaf. The upper epidermis acts like the skin of the leaf, providing more protection and helping maintain the leaf's shape. It also provides protection from water loss UV radiation, and pathogens. It also secretes a waxy cuticle. We're moving into the inner part of the leaf, known as the mesophyll. It is the tissue between the upper and lower epidermis of the leaf, which contains chloroplasts for capturing sunlight and carrying out photosynthesis. This is where the magic really happens. The mesophyll is further divided into two layers, the palisade layer and the spongy layer. Let's check them out. First, there's the palisade layer. It's filled with long, tightly packed cells that contain high numbers of chloroplasts. These are the structures where photosynthesis happens, turning sunlight into energy for the plant. They specialized in photosynthesis due to their abundance of chloroplasts for capturing sunlight. Below the palisade layer is the spongy layer. It is a regularly shaped, loosely packed cells in the lower region of the mesophyll, containing air spaces between them. These gaps allow gases to circulate easily, which is crucial for photosynthesis and respiration. Next stop, chloroplasts. It is special structures found in plant cells and in some algae. Their main job making food for the plant by capturing sunlight. You could say they're like the solar panels of plant cells. Chloroplasts are green because they contain a pigment called chlorophyll, which is essential for absorbing sunlight. This green pigment is what makes plants look green. Now let's dive into the structure of a chloroplast. Inside each chloroplast, there are several key parts. Let's go through them. Chloroplasts have two layers, the outer and inner membranes. These layers protect the chloroplast and control what goes in and out. Inside the inner membrane is a fluid-filled area called the stroma. Think of it like the cytoplasm of the chloroplast, where certain reactions happen. Now, here's where the magic happens, the thylakoids. These are disc-shaped structures stacked on top of each other in groups called granum. But if there is more than one granum, we call it grana. Each thylakoid contains chlorophyll in the space inside the thylakoid which is called the lumen, and this is where sunlight gets converted into energy. Now, here's something cool, the leaf has tiny openings called stomata, singular, stoma. These microscopic pores are like the leaf's breathing holes. They allow gases like carbon dioxide to enter and oxygen to exit during photosynthesis. The stomata can open and close to regulate gas exchange and control how much water is lost from the leaf. It's like the leaf has its own little air conditioning system. It is controlled by guard cells, which literally guard the opening and closing activity of the stomata. By changing their shape, inflating or deflating, guard cells control the size of the stomata opening, regulating gas exchange and water loss.
And now we have the leaf's veins. Yep, just like we have veins to carry blood, leaves have veins to transport water, nutrients, and sugars throughout the plant. The veins contain xylem and phloem, two types of tissues that act as the plant's highway system. The xylem transports water and minerals from the roots up to the leaf, while the phloem moves sugars from the leaf to the rest of the plant. This transport system keeps every part of the plant fed and hydrated. Last stop, the lower epidermis. The single layer of cells covering the underside of the leaf. Similar to the upper epidermis, it provides protection and contains more stomata for gas exchange. So, let's do a quick recap. A leaf has the cuticle and epidermis for protection, stomata for gas exchange, the mesophyll for photosynthesis, and veins to transport water and nutrients. Each part works together to keep the plant healthy and help it grow. Pretty amazing, right? A simple leaf has so many complex structures working around the clock to make food, produce oxygen, and support life on Earth. Next time you see a leaf, you'll know it's more than just green, it's a little life, sustaining factory. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed learning about what's inside a leaf, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe for more fun science videos, and let me know in the comments, what part of the leaf do you think is the most interesting? Until next time, keep exploring the wonders of nature.